All right, yo, what's up? My name's Sick Petrowski today. How are we doing? And today, I'm going to be testing lores and testing all of the encounters and try to explain to you guys everything about lores as best as I possibly can and also just discover stuff with you guys as I'm testing. Hopefully, you guys can just watch this video as opposed to spending your own money and wasting your own time. That's the goal here. So let's do a basic breakdown. What are lures? Lures are a new item added to the Pokemart, and they are actually needed to encounter certain Pokemon now, like starter Pokemon, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, and certain Pokemon like Rotom. Uh, they're also nice for Riolu or such uh, rare, rare encounters like that. Now, lures essentially act as reverse repels, where they actually increase your encounters for X amount of steps. There is this basic lore, which costs 600 Pokéen. There's the super lore, which costs 1,200 Pokéen and lasts for 200 steps. And then there's the expert lore, which lasts for 250 steps uh, and costs 1,500 Pokéen. All of these are financially the same. Um, they're all kind of calced properly. So I think using lures is probably the best simple ones if you want to test stuff. Since it's only 100 steps, so you can kind of walk away and not waste as much stuff. However, once you get used to lures and once you know you're going to be farming in an area for quite a long time, expert lures are going to be better just to save time from popping more lures. Lures, L lures, lures, L lures, lures, leer, lures, lures. Anyways, however you say it, there's only one thing to understand about lures. I guess a lot more than one thing. Uh, they increase the encounter rate by 10%. Foes are slightly stronger. You may encounter more foes at the same time, which I'll explain in more detail. It essentially allows you to encounter double battles. I've tested this for a very slight amount of time, but we'll get into more in-depth testing. And it gives you a 5% chance to encounter those lore exclusive species, aka those starter Pokemon. Lures on the surface seem super expensive and not really worth it. However, when you're catching things like Bulbasaur and Snivy and everything, and they've gone up in price a little bit to around 6 to 8k a piece, honestly, that may be where the kind of profit lies, and that may be their, their real use. I don't think people are going to be using these for just all sorts of daily activities or random activities. I think it'll be more so hunting for specific Pokemon like Bulbasaur, Snivy, etc. Now, people mentioned talking about shiny hunting with this, um, and if anything, it actually makes it much, much worse for shiny hunting, for single encountering. Um, it's pretty much known that the best way to get shinies of all the rares and star Pokemon is to egg breed them, and this only further exacerbates that. But we do have another type of lore here you can actually see that we need to talk about. This is the premium lore, and these cost considerably more Pokéen or even RP from the gift shop. So, premium lures. A premium lore which attracts wild Pokémon for 200 steps. Uh, it has a plus 20% to encounter rate. Foes are stronger than normal encounters. You may encounter more foes of the same time, or at the same time. 8% chance to encounter lore exclusive species, 3% increase. Small hordes may increase in size that's interesting we'll try to test that and then if you encounter a shiny pokemon secret shiny rates are increased by 25 percent a 25 percent increase on shot on secret shinies is pretty absolutely insane making a rate go from one out of 16 shinies or one out of 480k and dropping it down to a 1 out of 360k, if my math is correct, is super awesome. However, the issue is there's still a really, 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 really good chance that no one, or that most of you, will never encounter a secret shiny. So the fact that it does increase the rate just doesn't really matter, um, unfortunately enough, um, even though it, it seems really cool and exciting on paper. Don't get baited by that. Don't get tricked. Uh, don't get too excited for the secret shiny. It's still really unlikely to happen, but hey man, more power to you if it does. But we can actually go to the gift shop and see those lures here, and they all do the same stuff, I believe. It's just different amounts of steps. So you can buy five times of the 200 step lures for 100 RP, uh, five times of the premium super lures for 300 steps, and then the premium max lures are 400 steps. I believe they all do the same things, it's just the amount of steps that increase. And once again, if you want more control over how many steps and such you're using, I would stick to the premium lures for learning and testing, and then move up to the max lures once you really know what you're doing and can commit to a grind. But anyways, let's go ahead and start testing. So you may have noticed here up in the top right hand corner of my screen, I actually have my encounter counter zeroed out, which I don't usually do. And I wanted to keep track of the encounters for this challenge. Uh, and I also have a couple different types of encounters that I want to keep track of down in the bottom left. I'll explain that in a sec. I'm going to be doing five minute sessions. I know it's not a whole lot, but we have like six different types of things to, to check and everything. So we can try to, you know, maybe I'll do a more accurate test one day. But this is going to be a decent test for now, maybe doing 10 minutes. Probably should do an hour of each at one point, but uh, that gets very expensive with all the lures. 
And I just want this to be a simple and basic test for lures now that they're a new item just brought into the game. So five minutes for each type of encounter you see here. I'm going to be doing basic fishing and basic singles. You can see in the bottom uh, bottom part of that. Those are my control groups if you're familiar with sort of any sort of scientific testing. I am not because I'm uneducated. But then we move on to lore fishing and lore singles. And that's going to be the basic types of lures. And then we're going to move on to premium fishing and premium singles, which are going to use those RP premium lore so I'm excited to test all of these we're gonna go ahead and get our control groups I'm gonna go ahead and get started here in a quick sec I'm gonna be fishing here at Slateport City for Whalmer because I would love a shiny Whalmer and then for our single encounters I'll probably go somewhere with that lore exclusive catch because I think that's gonna be the most beneficial part of this I also am leading my party with a sticky hold Pokemon to increase the amount of fishing bites I'm able to get as quickly as possible. This is truly peak efficiency here. So I'm going to go ahead and just play as best I can, play as fast as I can, start my timer, and try to get as many encounters as possible within five minutes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start in three, two, one. See you guys on the other side. All right, the timer is ending here in a sec. Let's see if I can get one more encounter. Yeah, I do sneak in one more. That ends me with 17. 17 encounters within five minutes was the basic fishing control group. Now let's go ahead and take that number and multiply by that by 12, and that'll give us how many encounters you should be able to get in an hour. Now that is playing extremely efficiently, which makes sense. Around 200 fishing encounters per hour, that's with sticky hold. It's playing very efficiently. Uh, you might not be able to play that efficiently, you know, for the full hour versus five minutes. It's a lot easier. All right, while we're here fishing, let's go ahead and stick to fishing and move on to lore fishing. Now we have our basic fishing encounters at 17. Let's go ahead and test it out using a lure. So I wasn't sure how lures were going to react with fishing and how it was going to cons consume encounters. It seems like it consumes 10 steps per attempted fish, which is kind of a lot in my opinion. Maybe it was five. We'll actually go ahead and just check, I guess. But let's go ahead and get our timer ready and get ready to start. All right, so now my timer is set at five minutes. My encounters are zeroed. Let's go ahead and get our lore ready to go. I'll go ahead and pop it. There's no time-based thing. I can just show you guys. You used a lore, 100 lore steps. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's go ahead and start the, the timer. So three, two, one, go. Let's go ahead and start fishing as efficiently as we can. And then we'll also go ahead and uh, see how many steps it takes. So it took five there. So I think it's five steps per attempted fish. But even if you like fail it, I think it still subtracts five steps. So maybe I can see if I get that on camera. Let's try here. Now I'm going to be able to catch or encounter much more. I'm going to be failing much less, which is really incredible. Yeah, no fails there. So 90 steps left. I'll see you guys after the five minutes. Or right, here's something that I wanted to show off. I was actually able to get two Whalemer encounters in one fish. That's something that I wanted to try to show you guys. Unfortunately, I wasn't quick enough and didn't get the actual encounter on camera, but that's what it looks like. And I wanted to run to save as much time as possible to make it as a fair of a comparison, but look out for those. I've also seen one Whalemer and one Kindra here, which is interesting because you would normally never find Kindra here, uh, but you can actually find like Pokemon you wouldn't normally consider being able to find in locations, which is going to be so much testing to figure out what Pokemon can now be gotten where, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the five minute test definitely is hindered here because this is something where if like I was able to do a full hour of testing, the number of how many encounters I'm going to be able to get here is so dependent on how many of those double battles I can pull, how much RNG I can get and how many of those double battles I can pull just really, really increases uh, the encounter rate. So those are the quickest way to obliterate the basic fishing control number uh, of encounters per five minutes. Here we also just see a single encounter of Kindra, which is once again interesting because usually this spot is just 100% Whalmer. So it's super interesting to see you just get different Pokemon. We're about to also end our first lore and still have around a minute and a half left. Now there's only four seconds left and I'm tied at 17. We're going to be able to squeeze in one more encounter and get 18, but definitely not a super strong performance from the lore, not going to lie. Now, once again, I do think this could very much be possible due to the uh, lack of time the, in the sort of RNG. I only got one 
double battle throughout that whole five minutes. And then I also got more not even a nibbles and I failed more catches than I did it when I was normal fishing, which was just RNG because over time you should obviously fail way less uh, catches like that. Um, so just kind of a poor performance to do some RNG. I feel like if I was being realistic, I'd probably give this thing like 19 to 20 every five minutes on average. 18 just seems a little too low. Um, but maybe just like up one more encounter. But if we were to go ahead and take that 18 number and multiply it by 12, you're left with 216 encounters. So only a bit more uh, than the other one. Only like, what, 12 more encounters or something? But I think realistically, it's probably like 20 to 25 more encounters per hour, which that really does add up when you're spending hundreds of hours of fishing. So honestly, it uh, could be worth it. However, that was 600 Poke Yen spent for, for five minutes. So let's go ahead and do that math. Let's do 600 times uh, 12 is going to be the math, I believe. So 7,000 Poke Yen per hour. Not too much, honestly. Pretty cheap, To in all, honestly, in all fairness. Spending 7K Poke Yen per hour is pretty much nothing. Honestly, uh, I'd say it's probably worth it to save you a little bit of fishing time. It's kind of a tough call. Um, that, that might be worth it, honestly. Maybe lures are always worth using when fishing for a shiny Pokemon. Okay, but now we've done basic fishing. We've done basic lures. What about premium lures i am super excited to go ahead and test this for five minutes i haven't used any premium lures yet i believe they go for around 60k poke in on the gtl at the moment so that is important um which is obviously a bit of poke in uh it's also important to note that they do cost hundreds of rp on the gtl etc etc um right now they're around 61k or so so let's go ahead uh, i have it popped i have it shown up in the top left hand corner let's go ahead and get started i'm going to go ahead and start my timer here and i will try to point out any funky business if anything interesting pops up i will see you guys in five minutes first encounter we do immediately see a double whalemer uh encounter so that's a good news good sign and then back to back we go from double to triple this seems very much more powerful so far um wow being able to fish triple hordes like that I didn't expect that. I know it said you'd be able to get three, you know, three hordes like that, but I assumed it was, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was assuming, but I, do, well, I didn't assume this. I've had a double battle, a triple battle, and now a double. This is a million times faster so far. I mean, to be fair, I hope it would be at the price you're paying, but still, I'm kind of in shock at, kind of in shock at how many, how much, like, every single battle has been a double battle. With, with premium lures, is every single fishing encounter a double battle? That would be a really big deal. Once again, this is just back-to-back -back encounters. I haven't seen a single, single encounter yet. Um, and also, I haven't seen a not a nibble yet. I've caught, I've caught everything. Um, it's always, it's been all double and triple battles. I haven't seen a single, single Whalmer encounter yet. We're mowing through these encounters. Three and a half minutes left. Another triple. Are you kidding me? Uh, we're at 12 encounters. I don't know if this is just crazy good luck or if this is you know you get you're getting what you're paying for um this could make fishing way way faster if you have tons of pokey and it's really expensive but man the speed at which this there's a, the first single encounter the first one after what two minutes um oh that's insane and we're already we're almost at 17 we're almost about to pass the other ones we still have three minutes left that's insane coming down to the last two seconds here i don't think i'm going to be able to weave in another encounter but wow that 30 i'm speechless that is clearly a premium product you really are getting what you're paying for it is expensive is it worth it i don't know let's go ahead and run some math but i am definitely extremely surprised 35 counters compared to 17 or so is insane i only saw around four single encounters everything else was a double or triple encounter this could save monstrous amounts of time on fishing uh shiny hunts this is a really big deal all right so first things first let's figure out the amount of encounters per hour let's go ahead and take 35 times 12 i'm scared to see this number 420 encounters per hour slightly over double the amount of encounters you would get from basic fishing. Oh my, that's insane. I mean, that's, you're cutting the time of a fishing shiny in half. Spending, you know, millions of Poke Yen probably, but I think this is worth it. This is so unbelievably good. Let's go ahead and take 30,000 divided by 200 encounters, which was the amount for basic fishing. So it's going to take you around 150 hours. Is that correct? Is that the right math? Uh, 30,000, let's try to double check that really quick, always double check your math, um, divided by 200, so around 150 hours of fishing Whalmer for a shiny, 
Let's go ahead and do 30,000 times, uh, sorry, divided by, terrible at math, 30,000 divided by 420, ironically enough, it's going to save you half the time, 71 hours, 72 hours or so, on average, of course, for a fishing shiny. Uh, that's insane. That's, how much money does this cost? That's what it really comes down to. So I used slightly more than 100 steps uh, per the five minutes. So let's say that one lore would ra last you around nine minutes. We could probably go 10 and just make it even, but I think nine is more fair. So let's say one lore lasts you nine minutes. So with that math, we want to take 60 minutes. This is the hours, obviously, divided by nine. This is the amount of premium lures you'd have to use in an hour. Uh, obviously, if you use max lures, all the math is the same. So we're going to take 6.6 .6 and multiply that by the 60K it currently costs us to buy these lures. 400K Pokeyen spent per hour. What is that times 72? 28 million. Okay. I don't know if that's worth it. That's a tough one. Really, it would cost you 20, around 29 million Pokeyen at the moment to fish to a shiny with premium lures, but it would also save you half the time. I don't know if that's worth it. It's probably not for the average person, but that's a, uh, it's interesting. It's really important information to know. So from now on, we can go ahead and walk away with those numbers. I'm definitely really glad I did these tests today. I'm actually learning a ton myself, and I hopefully you guys are learning a ton as well. That is super interesting, at least to me. But we still have single encounters to do, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish up these 85 premium lore steps here at the Whalmer spot, just because I kind of want to shiny Whalmer, and I have to use them up anyway, and I will go ahead and see you guys over at a single encounter spot very soon. All right, here we are at the spot for single encounters. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to do the base of that. However, if you were wondering what the chart looked like for the fishing ending sort of situation, bottom left, that's what it looks like. Basic fishing 17, lore fishing 18, premium 35. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be at this location because this is the new location for Squirtle. If you guys aren't aware, they moved a lot of the starter locations, which is why I actually have to make an entirely new guide now on all these starter locations in Pokemon. So be on the lookout for that. And we see Squirtle is wild location route 24, but it's lore only. So you have to be using a lore to even encounter him. So during my base single encounter sort of control group test, I'm not even going to be able to encounter Squirtle. So it's definitely something to keep in mind, even if it's not going to infect the encounter number. All right, I'm fully ready. Let's go ahead and start our control group for single encounters. I'm going to go ahead and get the timer ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. I'll see you guys after five minutes. All right, here's going to be the last five seconds or so. A bit faster than basic fishing, which does make sense. I'm going to try to sneak in one more encounter. I couldn't quite get it. That's okay. That's going to be our time, putting us at 24 encounters within those five minutes. All right, 24 single encounters in five minutes. Nothing super special there, but we can go ahead and take that number and multiply that by 12 to give us our hourly rate, looking at around 288, 300 or so encounters per hour, which makes a lot of sense for single encounters. That is kind of what I average uh, whenever I hunt. So honestly, these five-minute sessions are actually coming out to be pretty accurate. Now, obviously, there might be some outliers, but I think the testing is going pretty well so far. Now it is time to go ahead and test lures. I have eight of them available. I'm going to go ahead and reset my encounter counter. Now there's a couple of things I'm interested in here. I'm interested to see how many squirtles I'm able to encounter in this location within those five minutes. Maybe none. Uh, I'm curious how much it's going to cost to use lures since it's going to cost more in steps, I assume, versus fishing. But I could be wrong. We just got to do some testing. Countdown to starting the timer in three two one i'm gonna go to make sure i pop my thing let's go for it three two one starts see you guys in five minutes here's one double battle so it does look like we will be seeing those similar to before back to back double battles going much better than the fish in five minutes all right here's our first squirtle encounter which is our rare unfortunately for the sake of this video i'm just gonna run away from it but that is one squirtle encounter within the five minutes which is important to note all right, here's the last five seconds looking pretty similar where it's you know slightly better which makes a lot of sense i did get pretty good rng though i stuck that last encounter i did get pretty good rng with my double battles i had far more double battles doing the single encounters here than versus the uh normal lore fishing encounters but 29 encounters in those five minutes not too shabby 
All right, let's crunch some numbers. Let's go ahead and take 29 times 12. That'll give us our encounters per hour around 348. So up by around 60 or so from the from a normal basic single ten hours, which is really good. Obviously giving us that squirtle as well. Now, as you can see, the top left-hand corner, I have eight lore steps left. I actually ended up using two lures pretty much exactly. So that'll be 1,200 Pokien uh, for five minutes. So we'll take that number, multiply that by 12, give us a 14K cost or so per hour. So paying 14k Pokeyen per hour to raise your encounters by around 60, maybe even 40 to 60, I'd say that's quite good, honestly. That might be worth it. It's only up to you to judge, though. All right, but now it's time for the most exciting test, the premium lures, the ones that do cost around 60k Pokeyen. I'm going to go ahead and pop it. I think we're fully ready. I'm right here. Premium lure. We have 200 steps. We have the timer set and ready. I'm going to go ahead and start it in three two one and then start running as quickly as possible and i will see you guys after five minutes once again i'll let you guys know if i see anything of note during the five minutes oh wow that is something interesting to see that i didn't expect they said that three hordes of pokemon were available but i didn't expect squirtle hordes that was that's interesting wow all right, here's the last eight seconds or so, and it does look out look like I'm going to barely be able to beat out the encounters. I'm not going to be able to sneak in any more encounters there. Looks like I was barely, barely, barely able to beat the lore single amount of encounters. But you know what? There might have just been some really good double battles RNG. And it's all, you know, it's five minutes. It's hard to take everything at face value. But we did end up with 31 encounters there. So I'm going to go ahead and note that down. And I do have 21 premium steps left, which is at least worth noting. Well, let's go ahead and bring up the calculator and run some numbers. Let's take that 31 number and multiply that by 12. It's going to leave us with 372 encounters per hour. And now in terms of the Pokeyen spent for per hour for something like this, I'm just going to kind of pull a number out and say 55,000, 54,000 um, was the cost of this one. Since there's still 20 steps left, it'd be some really annoying math. I'm just going to guesstimate. Let's say 54,000 spent for these five minutes multiplied by 12. going to cost you around 648,000 Pokeyen per hour to hunt something like this with the premium lore. That There's no way that's worth it. There's no way. Uh, obviously, the times three Squirtle Hordes are really interesting and really cool. I just, I can't see this being worth it. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm mathing something incorrectly, but this just seems astronomical but if you want to see all the numbers broken down here you go here is at least the encounters per five minutes per each type of hunt basic fishing was once again 17 lore fishing was 18 premium fishing was 35 encounters per five single was 24 lore single was 29 premium single was 31 once again these were five minute sessions and in increments these could have a lot of variance to them so try not to take them too to heart as we see uh the times or the premium fishing one uh having more encounters than the premium single is a little sus to me but i don't know who knows honestly maybe lores do make fishing that much better now, me deciding for you whether lures are worth it or not was not the point of this video. It was about testing and finding the information, finding the numbers, portraying that to you guys, and having you guys make that decision for yourself. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video today. If you think I missed any numbers or if you're missing any information, let me know in the comments down below, and I will do my best to get back to you guys. And I always read every single comment and usually uh, answer every single question that I see in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, it took me a long time to make, and I struggled through it even no, I'm very sick so appreciation via liking the video or if you think it's stupid of me to even record with the sick voice dislike the video that's totally okay consider subscribing for daily Pokemon content and Pokemon uploads especially during the Christmas 2022 Pokemon event the discord link is down below if you're looking for teams or information or anything regarding the Xmas event or anything Pokemon related you can also check out my live streams here on YouTube and on Twitch usually Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. EST I've been kind of slacking on that recently though since the event is going on there's so much stuff going on to do so i appreciate your guys patience with that and if you want to go above and beyond and support my channel if you've enjoyed hours and hours and hours of my content to such an extent that you find it worth it uh going above and beyond via youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs or hitting up my paypal or venmo which are linked down below does really help me allow to uh keep trying to make the best pokemon content possible so thank you all so much have a great day i will see you guys later keep enjoying the Xmas event and i'll keep making content peace guys love you
Yo, if you're watching this, that means you watched the entire video. So first things first, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. And if your name is on this list, that means you go above and beyond and support the channel and allow me to do what I do every single day. Thank you so much and have a great day.